Welcome back to Wayne's Motor Co. Today we're doing something different. It is not motorcycle related content, but it is old and it is cool. So stick around. Here we are, undisclosed location, very near to my house, and I have a really good friend who does all of my photography, shoots all of my bikes, and his name is Eric, and he has a super sweet, super cool old van that he wants to do some customization to it. So he invited me over today, said, hey, let's see what we can do with this cool old Chevy van that he's got. But without further ado, let's introduce Eric to everybody. This is Eric Runyon. You might know him as the owner operator of Chopper Gent on Instagram, the guy, amazing photographer, amazing videographer. So Eric. Yes, sir. How long you been in the game, bro? Jeez, I've been in the motorcycle game for 20 years. 20 years. And yep. you, you kind of got started with uh, Cafe Racer mag, uh, Cafe, TV. Yeah, Cafe Racer TV was a series on Discovery Channel. Kind of fell into that by accident and um, I said that was many years ago and I started shooting for Cafe Racer magazine and everybody back then was like, oh, you need to get into Harleys and Choppers. <laughs> and I, well, I was like, no, 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 I'm not going to do we'll, that. We'll, we'll, we'll say Choppers. We won't yeah. talk about Harleys on our channel too much. <laughs> they're, they're cool though. So man, yeah, amazing work that you've always done. Met you a few years ago when we were doing stuff for Forgotten Angels. You wanted to get on board with that and shoot the bike that is at the Peterson Automotive Museum in LA. Yep. Um, with that, you've done a lot of shoots, you, you've worked with models, you've worked with motorcycles, you've worked with producers. If there was one image that you've captured in your whole career that you would say, hey, this is what I want printed on my tombstone, which image would it be? Well, normally that would be a hard question to answer, but because uh, I'm very rarely happy with the stuff that I shoot, I can find flaws in everything that I do. <laughs> really, but... Um, I was motivated to get into motorcycle photography by uh, Michael Lichter. Okay. I saw a museum uh, traveling show, The Art of the Motorcycle, many yes. years ago. Yes, that was an amazing one. Yeah, that's really what changed me from shooting models and style and commercial work to get into motorcycles, because I'd always ridden motorcycles in the first place. So I made that shift then, but I remember going to the gift shop at this museum and they were selling Lichter posters. And I pulled out this poster that he shot of um, Billy Lane. I had since become friends with Billy Lane. I've been with him since the very, even before Sons of Speed, when he was working on these old bikes, telling me about his vision for the Sons of Speed races. Literally, I would stand in the middle of the track and we kind of made it the game to see how fast he could blow by me. One particular pass after turn two, I was standing in the middle of the track and when he saw me, he opened he opened up his arms nice. and, and drove past me and he looked at me and I captured that image and as soon as I captured it, I just felt it in the pit of my stomach and like, felt it in my the chest. One. And so I've, uh, that's my picture. I've, you, you can see it on uh, Chopper Gent. I've posted it a couple of times. There's a color version and a black and white version. And uh, Billy has it hanging in his, he has a huge mural of it hanging in his shop. And actually, cool. kudo for me was Billy was saying that Michael Lichter was at a shop and he complimented the picture and wanted to know who shot it. That's pretty crazy that you could say Michael Lichter is a peer. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's been in the game since the 70s, man. Speaking of the 70s. Yes. There was this cool phenomenon that happened in the 70s. And I, as a little kid, was kind of at the tail end of it and that was called boogie vans boogie vans yeah. boogie vans the coolest things ever little uh little you know no windows kind of blacked out get you get on the inside of them and you just do go over the top with a shag carpet and disco balls and all of that stuff so you have a boogie van yeah yeah you know i grew up my dad had a boogie van he was, oh, yeah? he was in a van club in nice. Indiana, called good time vans nice. and we'd, just like us dudes with choppers we would go on weekends with our van we go what called vanning we'd mm -hmm. go vanning we'd meet at locations and convoy to these locations and spend the weekend there camping and have a good it was great memories for me and it's been a project and a labor of love for me and my daughter and my son so when you say project this these are the greatest projects the ones that run and ride and 
and drive. The yeah. ones you can enjoy, get out. It's not sitting on blocks inside your garage. It's not waiting for cut like to be the engine rebuilt or something like that. So you have something, a project that you can actively use day to day. Your kids can get out there, help you with the interior, yes. help you change the oil, do the brakes, the wheels yep, yep, and all that. Yep. Today we're helping you. I appreciate it too. He had a vision to take his boogie van a little bit over the top and add a little bit of a spice to it. So let's go check out this van. Yeah. Here is Eric's sweet, you said what, 1980? 1985. It's almost as old as me. I'm a little older than that. What year were you born? I'm not telling you. <laughs> us old guys. Us old guys and our cool toys. Yes. So Eric had this idea. He wants to put some stripes down the side of his van and not just regular stripes, some stripes that are inspired by the 1970s Harley Davidson AMF. So, yep, yep. We're gonna do a three color code. What was it? Uh, what was your colors you picked? I picked. Um, I picked orange. I picked a gold. And I picked a, a yellow. Yellow. Bright yellow. Yeah. So we're gonna figure out how we're gonna lay three stripes down. Gonna do that nice little AMF swoosh on yep, it. Yep. But we're gonna do it the easy way. We're gonna rattle can it because it's called rattle can. It's not called rattle can't. There we go. So there we go. can do this. And you know, this isn't like you know a huge show winner. We're not no. going to be putting this in a big thing. We just want to make this thing look cool. So when we're rolling around town, you're turning every head. I mean, you're already turning heads, but we want to turn every head yeah, when we yeah. go around. Yeah, so. we just want to have fun with it. You know, yeah. I, I looked into a couple high profile painters. They told me how much it was going to cost thousands and how long yeah. it would take. Yeah. I actually looked into uh, vinyl graphics. Having it wrapped. Way. Yeah. Still, still a thousand bucks. And I was, you know, saving my pennies, my Chopper Jet magazine money. And I was like, you know what, I'm, when I get enough money, I'm going to have this thing striped. <laughs> I was at your place talking to you, what, about a month ago about yeah. something. And uh, I told you what I wanted to do. And you're like, dude, let's let's rattle can it. And I know from that, that man bike, the Triumph you built, the one that you rattle can, I was like, if anybody can do this, uh, do a great job, it's you. Listen. So I said, let's do it. The technology is out there, people. And this thing, like I said, we're not out there to, you know, be out winning every show that this thing is, but we just want to turn some heads and we're going to do something cool right now. So let's get some measurements, figure out where we want to put these stripes and let's get to work. Let's do it. One side masked off. We still got to do the stripes in between. What do you think of so far? I think it's pretty awesome. I think it's groovy. Isn't that what they would say back then? Groovy. Groovy, yeah. Groovy. Be it, yeah. All right, we got to do the same thing on the other side. You ready? Ready to rock and roll. You got to do it all by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll let's, see how that goes. Yeah, that's the way it works around here. All right, let's uh, let's make this other side happen. All right, let's do it. In all honesty, it is the next day. Next day. Next day. We figured we don't want to get in a rush, when, especially when it comes to painting and laying out these lines. We want to make sure that they are laser straight. Laser straight. And yep. how do you get things laser straight? With a laser. With a laser. So I brought my laser right here. We're going to close the garage down, shoot that laser so we have straight lines we can tape off. And then once we have them taped off, then we can commence 
to rattle canning. Yes. You ready to do this? I'm ready to rattle can. All right, let's get to work. Let's do it. Not too bad. What are you thinking, Eric, so far? I think you found your true calling. No, I <laughs> I am not a painter, and I nor do I want to do this for other people, but Eric is such a good friend. Uh, yes, I And I said, I said, hey, you're going to have to take pictures of all my motorcycles from forever on and use them however you want. So I, I think. You think? Well, what I was actually, I was thinking last night, I think we've done, I've done six chopper gents. Okay. I think your bike is probably at least one page. It, has been, it's been in a lot every of Every single yeah. one. I think you have three features in there. We'll keep doing it. We'll keep hey, doing we'll it. Just, I, I, I work for paint jobs, I guess, now. There we go. There we go. <laughs> no, I don't do that. So don't be hitting me up in the messages <laughs> saying, hey, come do my van. I'm not doing that. With that, all right, we got one half done. That means we got to flip this van around yep. and work on the other side. So too easy. While he's moving that van around, what I guys, what I want you to do is I want you to go check out Chopper Gent's website. Where do they find you at, man? Choppergent.com. Super easy. Chopper Gent. Yep. It's Order a magazine, get a hat, get a teach, whatever he's got on there. Just go buy all of his merch so he has nothing left while we get this van turned around and do all of this one more time. So, and, Yep, and if you want to see a lot more of Jared's beautiful bikes, hit him up, hit Chopper Gen up and hit his website up. There it is, let's do this. As Eric is shaking it like a Polaroid picture, yes. we're going to talk a little bit about the process here. So, you do not want to apply all of your rattle can on the very first coat. That's not good. It's not going to adhere and it probably is going to end up peeling or you have runs, you have all kinds of issues. So, we're going to try to do this in two or three coats on each stripe. So, we got three colors, which means we have to mask off those individual stripes, which we've already done. So now we're shaking it up and we're gonna apply the first coat, go all the way around the vehicle with our first coat. And then by that time, it should be nice and tacky so we can come back with our second coat around. You ready to do this? Ready to rock and roll. You, you want me to shoot it or are you gonna shoot it? We'll both do it. I'll let you start, you know. He wants to see how the process yeah. goes and then maybe by the second or third stripe, he can finish this all by himself. Well, learn, I'm, learn I'm pretty tired. Master. I'm pretty tired. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, let's we'll get this ready. going. Color one done. Color one done. Yellow. Working on our next color, which is orange, which is going to be the bottom color, right? Yep, yep, yep. And then we got this medium, like mustard color in the middle, right? Yep, yep. All right. 70s tri-side. That's it. It's like a tequila sunrise. 
beautiful. All right, <laughs> let's get to painting. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Day three, the final day. Day three, yes. You, you only you only get me for today, so we got to wrap this up today. Three um, one, stripes. one stripe left, one yeah. stripe left, and that's the center stripe. So we got to pull off some of this masking, uh, and then we got to mask off where that center line's gonna be. Blah blah blah. I only have one battery with me, so we're gonna do this quickly. Let's knock it out. Mr. Eric. Yes, sir. Got the tape pulled. We got that nice red center line that needs to disappear. You gotta turn it gold. You gotta turn it gold because we're going between yellow and orange. Uh, now we just gotta mask off the little lines that separate. Got some 3 8 inch thick masking tape to knock that out. Super easy. Just follow the lines. It's like when we were in kindergarten, right? The teacher said color within the lines. Thing. Obviously, you're better at lines than I was. Uh, That's why you're here. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll get it done. Let's knock it out. Yes, sir. Last phase in the process, doing a little spray painting. One stripe left. You excited? I'm excited. Let's Anticipation go. has built. It has. You ready to see your van done? Let's, let's and do it. It's actually going to be a four tone. You know, it's like, you know, you think about the old 80s, the two tone. Yep. Now we're going four tone. So, yep. all right, little paint. Let's knock it out. Folks, I think that is officially a boogie van now. I don't know if we could call it a boogie van before with no decals or graphics or anything, but now, my friend, I think you have a pretty sweet van. <laughs> and that's all because well, of you, I, man. Well, it was cool before. Now it's really <laughs> cool. So, well, what do you think? I think the Weems touch is awesome. Oh. <laughs> Listen, it's just rattle can people. I mean, you can get out and do this kind of things. I wouldn't recommend doing this to your, you know, your Bugatti or your Rolls Royce. But when you got something as cool as this old van, you want to add some accents, you can do it. Take it a little bit of time. Doesn't yeah. have to be a lot of money. Not a lot of money. How much money would you say you wrapped up in this project? I don't know. Less than a hundred bucks. Less than a hundred dollars. And bucks? now he has that sweet van right there, man. Super stoked to be a part of the project. Eric, thank you for letting me be a part of this. Now we gotta go take some pictures of some motorcycles yes, and go do chopper stuff as we always yes. do. So we wanna say thank you to you guys for hanging out during this process. If you are new around here, jump down and hit that subscribe button. If you really like the video, hit that yeah. thumbs up, turn those notifications on and let everyone know what's going on right here. Right now. Right now? <laughs> He doesn't watch my YouTube channel. He doesn't know. At Wayne's Motor Co. Oh, well, of course. Oh, that's it. Okay. All right. Peace. <laughs>